Results of a new study may get your heart pumping when your doctor goes to listen in. As it turns out, stethoscopes carry more germs than a physician's hands. Emily Pace met up with a local ER doctor who says an easy solution may not be far away. She has the details. Seven on your side, Medical Watch. Every doctor has one, but no patient knows where it has been. And the findings of a new study might cause you to question your doc. Researchers tested how much bacteria is spread from physicians to patients using sterile gloves and a stethoscope. They found the round part of stethoscopes, that's what a doctor presses to your chest, were more contaminated with bacteria than any part of the physician's hands except for the fingertips. Right now there are guidelines that all doctors should wash their hands after seeing a patient, but there are none mandating that small medical devices like stethoscopes should also be disinfected. I'd never really thought about it, but now that you mention it, to think that it's against somebody else's sweaty chest, yeah, I'd like for them to clean it before they stick it to mine. The study also discovered that if stethoscopes aren't properly cleaned between uses, they're likely wiped down less than once a month, if at all. It would seem logical to me that there would be guidelines for something like that. Dr. Jack Krupnik, a local emergency room physician, has been using a stethoscope for 20 years. And the results of the study published Thursday in Mayo Clinic Proceedings doesn't surprise him. 90% of all stethoscopes are contaminated with a form of organism, um, regardless of how often they are cleaned. Krupnik realized that he himself could do something about it. For the past 10 months, he worked on building a disposable cover for stethoscopes. His company, ZeroScope, launched this week. I think that it can make a real difference in a population's health. Krupnik is hopeful his one-time use stethoscope barriers will be used by hospitals nationwide in the future. In the meantime, he says, ask your doctor if their stethoscope has been disinfected. What do you have to lose? In Asheville, Emily Pace, 7 on your side. Dr. Krupnik tells us he'd be surprised if this study doesn't spark a change in federal guidelines about disinfecting stethoscopes in the future. It's estimated 90% of stethoscopes are contaminated. One-fourth of the contaminants are extremely harmful to your health, and that can hurt your wallet. Cost for the average patient who got a hospital-acquired infection is about $70,000. We checked with local hospitals. So far, the Greenville Health System is the only one that's gotten back to us. They say they do have an anti-disinfectant policy for equipment.